Hello and welcome back. In this series of videos we're reviewing the tools and techniques in Microsoft Project to evaluate the health of a schedule created in Microsoft Project using as a reference base the NDIA Planning and Scheduling Excellence Guide. This document is downloadable from our website or from the NDIA website. In part one, we explored the means by which we can identify isolated tasks, that is, those that do not have predecessors or successors in the activity network, and we also saw how to calculate metrics to illustrate the percentage of the total number of tasks represented by this group. We will now take a similar approach to identify dependencies within the activity network which make use of leads and lags and also collect metrics with respect to the percentage of activities within the project that have these dependency types assigned. Of course there's nothing wrong per se with the use of leads and lags but we need to be able to identify and review where they're used to ensure that they are fit for purpose. The rationale for reviewing uh, the leads and lags is to ensure that through their use or overuse, the project scheduled timeline is not being artificially extended or shortened. So we're back in our example Microsoft project schedule and as you can see from the predecessor and successors column that there have been some leads and lags assigned here, both positive and negative. And uh, as with the isolated tasks in a small project, it's relatively easy to scan through and find these but in a project with many thousand activities uh, that would be quite time consuming so we're going to make use of our filters again so I'm going to click on filters, new filter and the field or fields we're interested in will be predecessors that contains a plus symbol or predecessors that contain a minus symbol or successors that contain plus or successors that contains minus. Show the related summaries just for reference and give this filter a name. Leads and lags and apply it. And that will filter our list to show those which have leads and lags assigned to the dependencies within this project. And uh, as always we could use this to highlight rather than to filter if that's the best way of, of viewing the information we want to see. What we'll do now is to use some, our custom fields again to collect some metrics on the number of activity dependencies using leads and lags. So we go to our custom fields and use another number custom field, number four, and I'm going to rename this count of tasks with leads lags okay and for my roll up I'm going to use the sum option again and for my formula I'm going to make use of uh, a string function in the formula definition to identify where the plus or minus symbols are being used. I've actually created that in Notepad so it's a little bit easier to see uh, all the commas and the inverted commas and the symbols and as you can see I've made use of the if statement but also a, a text function called instring and what that does is look at a, a, a specified text string in this case the field predecessors and looks for that character within that string. 
what that function returns is the position in this string that it finds in this case the plus symbol and all I'm really interested in if that is greater than zero if it doesn't find the plus symbol in the string it will return a zero uh, in which case it's not using a positive lead or lag all I'm doing then is to repeat this string function to look for a plus symbol in the successors field a minus symbol in the successors field and a minus symbol in the predecessors field now if any of those conditions are found to be true in other words it does find the plus symbol it does find the minus symbol it's going to return a value of 1 if it doesn't find those symbols in any of these uh, fields it's going to give me uh, a value of 0 so what I'm going to do is to copy this formula and paste it in here okay and then I need to add number 4 to my table and this is telling me that I have seven relationships that use either a positive or negative lead or lag. The next step then is to see what percentage of the total number of tasks in the project have these leads or lags. I already have the total count uh, of all tasks in this schedule so all we need to do here is to use one more custom field number five which I will rename tasks with leads lags as percentage and for the formula I'm just going to take number field 4 divided by number field 2 times 100 to give me the percentage and for the summarization in this case we're going to use the formula to get the desired result and lastly then I'll add custom field number 5 to get my percentage value there it'll be a matter of discussion whether this percentage is too high in the context of this particular project um, it's a discussion that will need to be on a project by project basis as will the discussion on whether the use of leads and lags will need to be had on a task by task basis but this illustrates how we get to the information that we need to form the basis for these discussions uh, well that's just about it for leads and lags hope that was useful uh, next time we're going to be look at looking at um, different relationship types start to start start to finish finish to finish so I hope this was useful and see you next time bye for now